Hey kids, I'm Deadpool, and today I'm here to talk to you about the marvels of comics. <laughs> Get a joke, marvels. <laughs> now if you think that comics are just for kids, then you and me are gonna meet outside and we're gonna have light and gentle words. Now in case you're thinking what's wrong with my American accent today, well it's basically Chiru because... Babu, aapka chai thanda ho raha hai Hello, 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 what's up guys, I'm your host and popcorn buddy Chinmay Sharma aka Scuba Chinu and welcome to Man's Life. Now the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the DC Universe are amongst one of the top most popular franchises on planet earth. I mean you have actors like Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson who've been doing films for years now and they do one MCU film and their share value just skyrockets. Keeping all of those things in mind, this is our list of the top 10 superhero films you should definitely watch if you haven't watched them already. Check it out. Black Panther. Now this one has to be my favorite from the list because this film that released in 2018 broke almost all barriers. A film that was predominantly cast with actors of color broke every stereotype and made a lot of money at the box office. I honestly feel it's one of Chadwick Boseman's best performances ever and it gave us one of the coolest taglines in Wakanda Forever! Spider-Man 2. Now I know in a world that's obsessing over Zendaya and Tom Holland, I think Spider-Man 2 and Tobey Maguire really stood out for me because it gave birth to a very relatable superhero. A superhero that has struggles and problems like all of us. And I believe that he was the one who taught us with great power comes great responsibility. Deadpool! Now this one has to be the funniest from the lot because this is literally a superhero film on steroids. This film literally took comedy and made it dysfunctional. And Ryan Reynolds, what do I say about the man? He literally took this role and made it his own. I can't imagine anyone else being this guy. The Incredibles 1 and 2. Now this list cannot be complete without a family superhero film of Mr. Incredible and his beautiful family. Now this gave us a beautiful glimpse and an insight into the ordinary lives of superheroes and also showed us that you can go save the world but you still have to do the dishes. Which is kind of like my life without the superhero part. The Dark Knight. Now I know Joaquin Phoenix was brilliant as the Joker but the man who set the bar was Heath Ledger in Christopher Nolan's masterpiece, The Dark Knight. It gave us a new breed of villains who actually steal the show, if I might say so, and gave us a nice and bassy voice for oh, Batman. Avengers Endgame. Now, probably one of the best films from the MCU. This movie had it all. Every possible imaginable emotion crammed into one brilliant cinematic experience. It was kind of also the perfect send-off for one of our favorite superheroes in Iron Man and the Black Widow. And who else still gets chills when they see that climatic scene? Now, repeat those two magical words with me. Avengers! Avengers! Assemble! Assemble! Wonder Woman. I know what you're going to say. The sequel is pathetic and I kind of agree with you but Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman was beautiful. Breaking stereotypes, a chick who kicks ass and takes names. And this is a universe, mind you, that is much, much darker than the Marvel Universe. And I think Wonder Woman led the way. It was also a very refreshing change from a universe that's generally ruled by the Batmans and Supermans. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now, well, let's face it. The film was quite trash and we're really happy that Zack Snyder came and saved the day with his cut which already received legendary status before it even released because no one knew if it was true or not. And then slowly and gradually the whispers intensified and well we have what we have. Doctor Strange. Now this is a film that kind of broke barriers within the MCU itself because the Marvel Universe doesn't generally believe in magic and spells as much as it does in genetic mutations and science. But Benedict Cumberbatch really took this role and made it his own and was phenomenal playing the wizard Doctor Strange. And that was the list guys but wait that's not it. Please log on to our website manslife.in for wonderful content from the world of auto, sports, lifestyle and entertainment.